Kentucky, this is probably one of the most vicious and gruesome incidents that I've witnessed in my 20 years. Vicious and gruesome. That's how the Daytona Beach police chief describes what happened to a local couple out riding their bikes. That horrific crime happened early Sunday morning. The husband and wife were found stabbed to death. This was along Wild Olive Avenue near Riverview, and it was only a mile away from Main Street. West Juice Claire Metz is joining us live this noon. Claire, initially this was believed to be a hit and run. Well, yeah, that's exactly what the caller who discovered the people thought in the first place. But when police arrived, they found something far different. The couple laying in the grass in this area here on Wild Olive, right off Riverview Boulevard. Uh, police say the two had been viciously stabbed, their throats slashed. We can't rule out that this may be totally random, but if it is totally random, the person responsible has to be deranged. A middle-aged husband and wife riding bicycles home from Main Street and the Bike Week festivities early Sunday morning, savagely stabbed, and at this moment, police don't know why. We can't rule anything out, but it does not appear to be a robbery, just based on the valuables that were left in their possession. Police say they have surveillance of a possible person of interest, a man, unknown race, on foot on Wild Olive at the same time the couple was there. He was possibly carrying a backpack and walked south, then north, then back south again. Police will also be looking for video from Main Street to see if they can place the victims up there, find out if there was any kind of altercation where they may have been followed. We will spare no expense and we will leave no stone unturned to make sure that this community is safe and feels safe. Now, at this point, police have not yet released the victims' names or shared any new information, but the chief says all resources he can possibly use will be made available to help identify and find this killer. Police say no one in this area actually heard or saw anything at that time, but of course they're still talking to folks and they are very, very disturbed here about the seemingly random nature of it all. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West Union.